welcome back to my channel. So if you watched my last video, which was the Dermalogica Evening Skincare Routine, you would know what this one's about because I just mentioned it briefly in there. But basically the makeup that I removed in that video, I was like so shocked to the foundation, I just had to say it. But today I'm gonna to be testing Primark's makeup. I mean, not absolute full face, but like pretty much full face. Couldn't get everything, but um, I have got a lot of stuff. So I'm so excited. I know that a load of people have already done this before, but I just wanted to try it out for myself because some of the looks that I've seen look so good and it's just like unbelievable that it's Primark's makeup and the things are like 250, three, which is the most expensive. Like it's just crazy. So. I wanted to try it out for you and I wanted to show you guys a little look that I'm going to put together. So if you would like to see how my Primark makeup comes out, then please carry on watching. Hopefully it's going to be a shocker because I'm so excited. The only thing that I've used out of this lot is the foundation because I wanted to test the colour that I picked was fine. But that one as well, like, I was absolutely so shocked at that, like, so I have high hopes for the rest of it now. Okay, so to start, I mean, not a great start to be honest. The only primer that they had was like a spray. And to be honest, I don't really think they do anything apart from just give you a bit more hydration. And like, I've already got my moisturizer on anyway. That's the only thing I've got on. So as a little base, I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I've actually got the strobe cream here. So I'm just gonna try put this all over this could go horribly wrong we may have to start again but i just wanted to try this because i do this in my other makeup routine like sometimes if i want to be super glowy the strobe cream will go all under as a base so we're just going to try this I mean, I don't hate it. I do feel glowy, and because of the foundation I've, that I've picked, it's the My Perfect Color, but it's matte as well, so this is why I wanted to like counteract the matte with a glowy base using the strobe cream. So I actually don't hate that. Like now, when it was first going on, I was thinking, mm, this is really a red undertone. It seems to have settled down a bit, so I will be using that again later on just to do like my highlight and things. Um, but we're going to go ahead with the rest now. So I'm going to take, yeah, so my foundation. So as I just said, this was the My Perfect Colour. Um, it's actually in shade Toffee. I'm going to show you the bottle. I saw it, I was like, oh, that looks really dark. But when I actually tried the tester, it wasn't that dark at all. So I went with this one. And this is the one that I used in my Dermalogica video. So I know that the colour's fine. If you're trying them, just make sure that you just try the actual one, don't judge it by the colour of the bottle. I'm just going to dot this all over. Oh no, I forgot my little thing. I've just brought this cute little headband today. I totally forgot, it's literally sat right in front of me. The eager beaver. I forgot my cute little headband. Okay, anywho, minor setback proceeding so yeah so i actually really like this color like i always tend to go for the warmer um undertones and of course i've got my tan on as per so you know i would have to obviously have tan for this shade because it is quite dark coverage wise um it says it's a medium to full so that means it's like buildable so i'm just going to do like one layer which would be like your medium and then i'm going to build it up after I feel like the texture of this one is super similar to the Estée Lauder Double Wear. Like, as you know, if you watch my other videos, that is my like go-to foundation. But I feel like this might be like a dupe for it because it's like medium to full coverage. That's the same. I mean, like Double Wear is a semi-matte finish, but I wouldn't say this one's like super matte. I know I've put the strobe cream underneath, but I feel like it's like a good copy of it to be honest. Oops. Um, okay, so that may have just squeezed and came out all over my mum's part. I don't have anything right now to take that off, so mum, if you're watching this, really sorry about that. Yeah, I'm really feeling this foundation, like, I literally could not, I couldn't get over it the last time I put it on and I'm still the same, like, it's just ridiculous. Like, 
for the money as well it is very good like so the concealer this one if you literally look at this color like it's like the opposite of me but, but obviously because it's going for the under eye it's fine to go a little bit brighter oh my god what it's got vitamin e and aloe vera in here just seeing that on the side i'm like aloe vera what? anyway yeah so the color is the only thing i'm worried about with this one but yeah so i feel like the color might be slightly off but it was the only one i could get the other ones are like super dark and Obviously, it's fine to go a little bit lighter under the eye. Ooh, I'm scared. Okay, it is super light. Mm, I'm gonna blend it in quick because I'm so scared. Okay, okay. It is blending. Don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it's better than when I first put the first eye on. Like that one was a bit of a shocker, but now I think I'm gonna get used to it. I think it was just a shock because I don't normally do that bright under my eye. But yeah, I think I like it. Okay, so now what's a slight issue with I have brought a blusher as well, but I wanted like a bronzer. Um not find one anywhere i went to like two different primarks nothing and there was the contour kits but i didn't really like the look of those um but i found this little stick so as a contour stick i previously used the fenty beauty one which is really good and i feel like this one is kind of going to feel the same i don't know why but this one's actually a foundation or a contour stick so I'm going to go ahead and try. A little tip I learned from doing my other contour stick is that rather than doing all of the lines and then blend, I just do them one at a time because I do set quite quick. It's getting a bit of my colour back after putting on that ghostly concealer. I like that. It blended really well as well. And it didn't like, let me just do the other side, but like, I am actually just dotting it on rather than dragging it, but it doesn't feel like it's dragging. It feels really creamy. I think I like this. Blends really well, guys. I knew I was going to be shocked. I knew it. I'm gonna do a little head one, a little jaw one. Okay, see, so now the under eye doesn't look so bad now. I've like warmed it back up with the contour stick. Oh gosh, and bear in mind, obviously I haven't put any powder on because I wanted to keep it super glowy, but it's settling down fine. It doesn't feel, obviously it's a little bit sticky still, but it doesn't feel wet at all. It's like settling really good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead with some blush now because I'm like super warmy toned is that a word super warm at the minute which i do like but i just i always do like that just a little bit of color on the top of the cheeks and as you can see on there it's one pound fifty let me repeat one pound fifty so i'm just gonna use i don't know how pigmented this is so i'm like i've literally tapped that and it's like coming off already so i don't want to do too much Okay, it's super pigmented. I'm like rubbing it off. A bit of blusher lifts the cheeks. I never used to work wear blusher at all. Cute. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with my strobe cream. I actually have regrets about this, you know, like those two colours. I think I was thinking I was like way more tanned than I was when I brought this because there's a lighter one, but it's like really light. And I thought, oh no, this is the texture of there. Rose gold, but I'm like, mm. I just feel like I, I wanted the other tone. I don't know how. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on. <laughs> Can you believe this glow? Like, honestly. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead with my brows. Um, I know I've just like realised that there is one more product that I have used before this video. So the other ones I was completely blind to, apart from the foundation. But 
I've actually used this brow one as well because basically, as you know, if you watch my other videos, I'm one of those people that likes a brow, like, um, like a gel with a brush. I feel like I can get more precision. I feel like I have been converted. Like, I've been using this one for the, like, the last three days. And I do really like it. I like the fact that it's slightly darker than that would usually go for as well. So this one is a brown. So I'd normally go for like obviously the blonde ones or something, but I feel like I like it when my brows are a tiny bit darker. I don't know why. And I've just been doing it really light just to get like natural brush strokes. So I'll do the bottom bit first just to get a nice line. And then just work upwards so you get like natural hair strokes. I like the bushy brow. I'm feeling it. You see it's slightly darker than my other one as well, but I do like that. I know I said this in my drugstore video that I did before, but it just shows you really don't have to spend that much on makeup. Like, I know that we all do anyway, but you know, like you don't have to because when these are tried and tested, they really aren't that bad. I don't know if it is the way that you use it as well. There is techniques, but if I can do it, you guys can. Okay, so now this was slightly annoying that I'd now wanted to go onto like my eyeshadow, but I'm not even joking, there was not one eyeshadow that I wanted to buy. Like none of them were just jumping out at me like I don't know, like I should have just got any of them just to show you the pigments and things, but I'm sorry that it's not a full full face, but I'm gonna whiz through just a really neutral eye choosing another palette that I've got. I know this is kind of cheating. Probably should have just brought one of them just to, to try it, but I just wasn't feeling them, you know? Okay, minor setback, sorry about that. Okay, but now I'm gonna use the mascara. So this one here is Aqualash. So this one, oh, waterproof. I didn't notice that before. I wouldn't normally go for waterproof because obviously they're way harder to get off, but lengthening and mega volume Woo. so let's see what this brush is like this one was two pounds okay okay got a medium sized brush don't like the brushes that are really big so i'm glad about that oh it's separating them quite well like instantly whoa I was not expecting that. Look how much brighter, like bigger that eye looks. Like. Okay, finally, we're gonna just go for a quick lip. I'm gonna go for a lip liner. So this, I haven't actually bought the same time I brought all of this stuff. So I actually had this one ages ago and I've had a little secret of loving Primark lip liners for a few years now. Like I've told a few people that you won't believe it, but Primark's lip liners are so soft, they're so creamy, they go on really well, they last well as well. So this one, I don't know if they still do this colour, but this one is Desert Sand. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead with a lipstick. So this one's actually one of their new ones, I think. It's called Pure. That's like the range and it's actually a gloss lipstick. So basically I think it just means like a lipstick with a sheen that it's not actually gloss. And this color is called Wisdom. So I have tried this one. It looks, it, oh my God, it looks so dark on there, but it's not. Hmm, it smells good. See, it's not dark at all. It's really nice color, actually. Like, very me. I would totally use something like this. Guys, look at my face. Like, it's Primark. What the hell? I'm so shocked. Okay, guys, and there we have it. I've finally done a Primark makeover. Um, needless to say, I am shocked because I've said it about ten thousand times in this video, but so shocked like i can't it feels so good as well like i don't know why i'm so shocked like i've seen everyone else be shocked so i don't know why i was but i knew i had to do it for me as well just to try them for myself 
Thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know if some of you are shocked as I am or you're just used to it now because you've seen other people use it but well done Primark, gotta give it to you, you smashed it. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up to date with me. Comment, subscribe, like, all of the things, you know the drill. But I hope you enjoyed it and I'd love to see you again soon. See you later.